hey good day guys welcome to today's lesson on start pro in today's lesson we are going to be talking about analysis of plates so let's go to read and let's go to beam grid okay so we can see this here then we go to edit and let's choose exit plane so once model is six meter by six meter plane so select your six meter hold control it doesn't draw the beam because we don't want there to be a beam and we'll draw this and draw this okay so i'm done with that escape turn off your beam grid and you can see this four grid the next thing i want to do now is to come here we have add plates select this we have triangular plates infill plates and this so we'll be using this add code plates now select it click here click here and click here okay so we've joined so what we are going to do now is we are going to mesh this floor so select your plate cursor right click select cursor and choose plate cursor to so select it right click on it and generate plate mesh to so generate it now we have to type we have the polygonal meshing and quadrilateral meshing now why do we mesh our slab the reasons why we mesh our slab is to discretize the slab and make sure the load is distributed based on nodes because in this case now if we don't mesh it it's going to be distributed majority of the load will just go straight to the column and it won't go straight to the beam which is not what we want we want it to go little to the column so the more accurate we mesh the smaller the mesh is the more accurate our results is so i'll just choose quadrilateral meshing click this and division by 10 so apply okay so if you have a very good system you can use reduce your increase your division and make it finer so we are done with this the next thing i'm going to do is assign property so click this now i'm going to choose a thickness of 175 i'm trying a thickness of 175 sorry point 175 okay add close assign to view so we have our plate there now the next thing i want to do now is i want to check the direction of my z so press shift t now we can see the z is facing down that means my top is facing down wherever your z is facing wherever the direction of your z that's the direction of the top of the slab so in this case now it has told us that the top of the slab of this plate is facing down while the bottom is up but i want you to notice something that when we run the analysis is good when we run the analysis it will give us a result showing that we need bottom reinforcement that's at the face of at the top of this place then when we invert our slab again we will see the sign convention is going to change so we've assigned a thickness to our plate so we can right click on it and see 3d rendering so we can see the thickness of our plate okay yes so the next thing i want to do is assign support to create support so we are going to make it a simply supported structure so if you put pin support say that means there's no continuity at that point but if you put fixed there's going to be continuity which will lead to hugging moment but in this case we want to put pin for a simply supported slab so we'll go to plate from the top so hold control for multiple selection okay like this okay so assign to selected nodes assign to selected nodes to display a structure so i can press shift t and turn them off okay shift t turn them then i'll go to load let's load case details click add then click add again then add so we'll choose plate load gy we'll put my value of let's try a value of minus 10 click add and click close okay, so assign to view then the next thing we are going to do now is go to analysis define command so for this case i want to print all so i'll click ok then close then we'll run the analysis so we'll go to the post processing and we can see our displacement the way our slab is displacing so once you select your node cursor on a node you can see it here is displacing at minus this is the value is displacing minus 5.16 millimeter so displacing there and still within an acceptable limit you can put it at this side just look for the center and this is what we have okay so next thing we do now is go to our plate results 
come to stress type maximum absolute so you can see your maximum absolute diagram you can see this okay you can see it. So this is the stress diagram then let's go to the mx that is the moment in the x direction so mx apply so we can see it at the bottom here so we can see it is positive at this point is because our z is facing down so once i go back there to flip it back up you will see that it's going to be negative so let's look at our my again so come to place stress here and let's look at my okay so we can see it. so we can see that mx and my is within the same value because it's a square slab so if you get within the same value so what we're going to do now is we'll go back to the modeling place we'll come back here then we'll go to our plate select our plate cursor and we're going to flip it to highlight it press control sh press shift t to bring out the axis the local axis then i'll come to specifications then i'll go to slab to flip it so we have plate here and plate reference point select reference points and choose it towards so i'll just pick a point greater than zero maybe 23 meters and click okay you can see all of them have been moved they've been so we'll go back to the analysis again and run the analysis okay so post processing click okay click this now let's see our play stress sorry so you can see now it's negative because uh top is on top so that means in this case now we need a negative moment of in the x direction of approximately minus 15.4 at this point then along these edges here we need nominal of also bottom because there is no support here there's no hockey moment to make it continuous so there is no need to place top reinforcement apart from the anti-crack that is the return bar inside okay so if you have any question you can drop it in the comment section on how to design slab